My name's Alex, I work for Fireco. We manufacture retainers and free swing closers for fire doors. Um, we manufacture them down on the south coast um, in Brighton and Hove, and we supply them to Ironmongery Direct. So I'm just gonna do a quick video for you now, uh, show you those um, two products, and hopefully you'll find it interesting. Um, this is the new box for the door guard. Um, it's changed to this plain brown one because we are now using more recycled material and it's easier to recycle than the old box. This, hopefully, you recognize. It's the, it's the door guard fire door retainer. It comes in black like this one, which is the most popular, and there's also white and red available. You screw it onto the bottom of your fire door and then you tread on the plunger and then the little rubber foot on the bottom grips onto the floor. It's got a little microphone here, and it listens for anything over 65 decibels for 14 seconds or more. So you imagine that it's on the bottom of the door. Day to day, it's holding the door open. The alarm sounds, and it says, I'm releasing the door, and the door closes, stopping the spread of smoke or fire. You can adjust the sensitivity if it's a little bit too sensitive, or um, you can make it more sensitive if you need to. Um, just a simple little adjustment and the batteries, it's one screw to change there. It's really simple. The batteries, you get them in the box, they last at least 12 months. If they're not lasting for 12 months, then it's a little maintenance issue. These are the batteries, they come with it. You can get them pretty much anywhere. And then there's four screws you need to screw it to the door. And to make it super simple, what we've got here is a nice fitting template for the door guard so you get it on at the right spot. Now we used to have floor plates in there. We don't have them anymore. And um, we're saving around eight tons of plastic by not putting them in. There's no requirement by legislation to have the floor plates. There's no requirement by us to have the floor plates. You don't need to use them. But if you do want to use them, then you get a little slip in the box and this shows you how to get them and they're free. So um, if you've got a customer that wants them, they can simply do that for you. The batteries, like I said, should be lasting at least 12 months. If they're not, um, there's probably another maintenance issue, and it's almost certainly the little rubber foot's worn out. You just pull that off, and then you push the new one on. They come in packs of five on your website. This can go on most fire doors. Uh, it can go on normal fire doors, category B fire doors. Um, there's, we've been selling them for nearly 30 years. They're super reliable. Um, they are good for basically anywhere that has fire doors. Um, the biggest market is the care sector. So as we get older, we lose a bit of strength. A fire door can be an obstacle. This is the quickest, easiest way of putting a retainer on a fire door and keeping it open so that people can move around the building easily. Um, but that doesn't just have to be in care. It can just be for a quality act in offices, for people visiting your hotel. Um, or just people wedging open fire doors for um, fresh air, um, for um, nice temperature around the building. People wedge open fire doors. We all know we shouldn't do it. Someone is liable, and this is the quickest, easiest way of getting that door held open safely. That's the door guard. We all know and love it. You've been selling loads for years. Thank you very much. This is a product that's new to you guys. We've been selling it for a little while, but it's now on your website, and it's called Free Door. It's a free swing overhead closer. There are other free swing overhead closers out there. Um, what's almost unique about ours is it's wireless and it's battery powered. So it comes with a battery pack, like this one, which is also available from your website. That again should be lasting at least 12, more like typically 18 months. And what all free swing closers do is take the weight out of the door. So you can see here, I can easily move this mock-up of a door backwards and forwards. So again, if you've um, got any sort of mobility issues or strength issues, a fire door can be a real obstacle. Even if you're just carrying shopping or a tray of teas, a fire door can be a real obstacle for anyone. And this just makes it easy to open and close where you might not just want to have it held open the whole time. This listens specifically for alarm sounds. So it's less likely to be set off just by general loud noises. When it hears something that it thinks is the alarm, it'll make this noise to give you fair warning and say, I've heard something, I think it might be the alarm, and this mechanism will release. And it closes the door. So it just becomes a normal weighted fire door at this point. Um, it doesn't lock the door, no one's um, locked in, trapped in, it's just a normal weighted fire door in that situation. 
Once the alarm is finished, it just resets. But you'll see this point, I could, how I could move it easily before. Now the whole case is moving. I have to brace. So that's how different it is. When we open it up to what we call the latching angle, it's then back into that free swing. So your customer never needs to actually touch the free door. It just will go into that um, weighted mode when the fire alarm sounds. And then after the alarm is finished, you just open the door back up and then it goes back into that free swing. So it's a um, really uh, simple product to use. Um, again, that's available on your website, and I uh, hope that knowing about the product um, now means you can start talking about it to your customers, but we're here to help as well if you need them. Um, thanks very much for watching the video.